Let's talk about the widgets panel. I know not everyone thinks it's cool. I know a lot of people are were kind of annoyed when they shoved it into Windows 10. Understandably, it was kind of half-baked. But it's here in Windows 11, and it's here to stay. And I think we should talk about how you can use it for yourself, or get rid of it, and see what all it can do. So that's what we're doing in today's Windows 11 Launch Week video. I'm Evil's Vox, the stream professor. We make a lot of videos on how to master your tech and optimize it for content creation or just using it in general. So hit the subscribe and notification button so you can stay informed. As mentioned, the new Windows 11 widgets panel is clearly here to stay. They've integrated it a lot better into Windows 11 as an operating system than they did the little weird half-baked Windows 10 edition that they launched previously. But a lot of people aren't going to like it, and that's fine. We're going we're gonna to talk about how to disable it. But I will say that this it resembles significantly more the Windows Vista desktop gadgets bar that we used to have back in the day. And I really like it. Like, if we can get more of those kinds of gadgets into the Windows 11 gadgets bar, like, this is going to be pretty cool. And I was a huge fan of that back in the day and kind of bummed when we upgraded to Windows 7 that they didn't carry those over in a significant way. And so I'm pretty stoked. If you do want to disable it, you can right click your taskbar, go to taskbar settings, and then icons, and you can choose whether it shows the search icon, the multi view task view icon, or the widgets bar. And you can just hide it. Go for it. <laughs> if you want to leave it on, let's see what all it can do. Here it'll show you the time, it'll show you your profile, you can search the web from here, so if you just want an easy web search, that's here. And then you can get updates on things like weather, stocks, news, OneDrive notifications, things like that. It kind of acts as the live view tiles from the original launch Windows 10 start menu, but I think it works a little bit better, especially since it doesn't have to eat up power when you're running the start menu in the first place. In this widgets menu, you can actually just remove individual widgets if there's stuff you don't want to see. You can just click the three dots and remove it. You can also customize the information they show. So for example, on weather, you can change your location. For stocks, you can choose specific stocks to track, things like that really nice. You can add specific widgets that aren't showing by default, so you can add things like esports news, entertainment news, you can get a to-do list, which is really freaking cool to have that right there. I think that's really powerful. And then you can even get tips for Windows, so if you're struggling to adapt to the new Windows version, you can have it show you regular tips so you can learn something new about your computer as you go. Helpful for, you know, grandparents or something. I really like that. You can also adjust your interests for the news and things like that through the interest personalization. It will take you out to MSN, of all things, which is kind of amusing. Uh, but then you can adjust your interests and adjust the news. Uh, you can also go to your settings and the ad settings that show which ads actually show for you for, like, new game releases and things like that. Because you know they're going to put ads in this. Uh, you can That will actually cater some of your interests as well. And I recommend curating both the MSN interests as well as these, as well as these interests if you start getting annoyed that it's showing you things that you don't want. I do believe that more widgets will be made available from Microsoft over time, and I really think, uh, or at least I really hope, that they're going to start giving the option for people to make third-party widgets as well and allow them to be downloaded and distributed through the Microsoft Store. That is not currently the case, but I can't imagine they're going to release something like this and not give a little bit of user-generated content magic to it. So I think it's going to be pretty cool. I just wanted to provide a relatively quick and easy run-through of it because I think a lot of people are going to struggle with it if they don't disable it automatically and I'm wanted to show you it could do some cool stuff. Here's an example of what mine fully customized looks like, and frankly, it's something that I will check sometimes. Like, if you're someone who regularly pulls up a, a Reddit feed or a, a, you have a default tab in your browser that pulls up news or related things, like, this could replace that and be kind of easy to use and also get you things like your weather or specific web searches or your throwback pictures on OneDrive and things like that. And like I said, I think the functionality, if they allow users to make it and distribute widgets for it and stuff, I think the functionality could explode. So I really hope to see that soon, Microsoft, if you're listening. Let's make it happen. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe. Join us on Discord at discord.gg slash ebosvox. And remember, be kind, rewind. If you're looking for more hardcore guides on the new Windows 11 upgrade, check the playlist link in the description. There's lots.